All right, let me hurry because my battery is going down. So with this one, I will wear this jacket. Oh, I think I did already. Here, nothing. This is how I would dress. This is what I was talking about. This is about the 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 length and the width of my legs. I wonder if that's the same model. Let's go back to her. Is the same model? Might be. Yeah. She probably she looks like she's doing all the modeling. Okay, so I like that blouse. I would definitely get them blouse. And maybe those boots. I'm kind of like too old for that. Back in the day when I was younger, like maybe 10 years ago, I used to sport me some cowboy boots. I know people used to talk about me and whatever. I used to wear them in the summertime. They be thinking something wrong me. I don't care. That was, there was a, it was a, it, see, church folks don't understand fashion statements. So it was just a fashion statement. It didn't have nothing to do with the weather. You know what I'm saying? had to do with my comfortability. Is that a word? <laughs> I just made one. Comfortability. It had to do with that. So I was comfortable with wearing my cowboy boots and I had the right skirt on, the right top on, you know. So these are nice, but I don't think I would actually sport them now in the age I am now. I'm 50. Now this, let me see what this browse costs. It's uh oh you to go play. Let me see. It says this page. No, we gotta keep going to find the other page. Facing page. It's Zori blouse, which is sixty-eight dollars, that ain't bad. A demon stud vest. Oh. That's hundred and forty eight. Dollars. No, that's the Lila stud vase. Stud stud vest. Lord Jesus. Pull on corduroy flares. Oh, so those are corduroy pants. And that was the type of material I liked it. When I would wear. Oh. Careful, don't want to be breaking up my $200, $300 T3 ID. These things cost so much money. I gotta I'm buy, I'm gonna make a shelf here and put them up there. All right, so anyway, let me hurry. So the blouse is sixty-eight dollars. So these are corduroy pants. So back when I was younger, I had a corduroy skirt. Oh, I loved it, that skirt, mm, and it wasn't running down to my ankles. That's why I said to people was underneath my aunt they were saved the 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 parents that had kids were saved and they dressed a certain way and they wanted their kids to dress like them so they had they they collars all the way up here their sleeves all the way down here and they dresses all the way dragging the ankle i told them no see people don't really i guess people really didn't know but it was my choice to wear those long skirts down to my ankle it was once once I got of age, like in high school, and even in high school, I didn't wear them, them skirts. I started wearing them after I got married. But before that, I didn't wear. I wore this piece of hair. Where does it go? Okay, over here. I wore. I wore um skirts for my age. So when I went to church, I maybe looked it old. But when I was outside the church, my grandmother dressed in me like a teenager. Excuse me, so everybody was being dressed the way that their parents wanted to dress them. They was infatuated by being like Bishop Mingo. I don't know how Mother Giles was dressed because when I came into the picture, Mother Giles was a grown woman with a child and married. So I don't really know how Bishop Mingo had Mother Giles dress. 
I just know how my grandmother, which was Bishop Meagle's sister, had me dressed. And I didn't have to wear them clothes dragging the floor. I chose to do that. I chose to wear the hats that my grandmother wore because I liked them. That, And you know what? Let me finish that. That was what I liked it. So they had no problem with me wearing the clothes. So now, as I got older and my features changed, which I mean, the, you know, as when you go past your teenage years, you know, have kids, your body frame and everything change, right? You may look the same because I meet people and people say I look the same, but you know, whatever. So, so in some aspects, I take it out of compliment. In some aspects, I, I take it as people being sarcastic. But I don't wear it. I drop it off. So, as I got older, got married, went to, you know, went to different parts of the world, you know, how they dress, I didn't make a decision on it. It was how I feel. I always dress based on my comfortability. How I was feeling how what mood I'm in when I wake up in the morning that's how I dress you see what I'm saying and I I would dress myself presentable so my grandmother didn't have me all looking all crazy so when I was a child I didn't have the the desire to dress provocative or to go against the standards of dress of holiness dress even though I wasn't holy I wasn't saved I didn't have that that mind span to go against it and i don't have the mind span of it now you know what i'm saying but it's just that they feel that certain clothes that i wear may be convicting them more than it's convicting me because they ain't used to that type of clothing you know i'm still in style you see what i'm saying i i, I can wear this right this is a lounge set that you wear around the house and somebody let's say we go to convention and I got this on and somebody feel like they want to come in my room oh I'm not safe because they're gonna say I got on shorts yes it's a form of shorts yes it is but I'm not wearing it on the outside mm -hmm. and Eve was saying mm -hmm. that say they didn't want you to wear pants but yet still they wore the pajamas in the house exactly exactly and my grandmother would tell me that was a form of pants. She would say it. She was a form of pants. But it, it was nothing, you know, it was nothing that was sending me to hell because I'm sleeping in it. And I grew up in gowns and I loved gowns. And you can't really find a good gown now. But anyway, let me help. Let me hurry up. Okay, this page, I'll probably wear that. And maybe the shirt. Let's see what it consists of. Uh... She got on the ring set, which is the ring set is the Western Boots is $298. The all in ring set is $38. The hip belt is $68. The blouse, oh, that's the same blouse. No, that's another blouse. Zori blouse is $68. No, 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 that's somebody else. The pull on corduroy flares. Those are boots, isn't it? $78? No, it ain't the boots. What's the flare? That must be the... No, no, no. Let's go. It says the... Pull. Let me see what kind of pants these is. No, this fade. Mm -mm, no. Baggy printed tomboy shorts. Oh, I just did it wrong. This page here is the duster which is four hundred and fifty dollars this is four hundred and fifty dollars mm. then you got the the button down the one eight only button down which is the shirt eighteen dollars the baggy printed tomboy shorts is ninety eight dollars the necklace Shaker Shakira Shaker Shakira beaded necklace is $38 and the ring set 
is $30 and the knee boots is $2.98. So I will get, I will wear this and I will wear those boots and those shirts. Okay, so that is this now. Okay, so this is from my husband's insurance. Let's see, he's always getting it. They're always wanting something. I think I mailed that, so I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so now I'm getting it. As of July 13, 2021, your current primary care provider, Chavana Bla, is no longer participating in the Fidelis Care Provider Network. To ensure your care can continue without inter interruption, Fidelis Care has selected the following new PCP for you. Gave me a new. Okay, so I gotta add that inside. Put that on the back. Inside my, inside my contacts. Okay, so this one says my husband. It says MCM, so I believe that's a bill. That is a bill. Yes, it is. Let's see who's the creditor here. Yeah. Don't know. Garbage. Let me put this book over here. That's not garbage. Okay, we got Emlyn Health, and that's me. I see that's a, a bill. Okay. June 23rd. $360 June 23rd, 2000 I go see that lady Okay, so it was $360 It was a visit Claim for my service for Dr. Cecilia Carr Cal. Okay, so that's probably was the medicine. Because I guess they got to put a charge in when they got to take, give you medicine. So this is the next person. This is my husband. Oh boy, I bet you need some forms I got to fill out. Here we go. Big old thick thing. Okay, initial adverse determination denied. Okay, this is this is four hours a week, one hour times four days. Personal care aid level two. Oh, level two. This is important. No, let's say you care for you. I think this is uh, uh -huh. July sexual. Are your provider acts for four hours a week, one hour a day. Personal care level two. Psychonize mm. because the service is not medically necessary. Really? They don't think that him washing himself is not necessary? Hmm. I'm gonna let the people start complaining about him smelling. I didn't even say one hour a day. At first, I did say one hour a day. One hour, an extra hour. They said, the person that was talking to me said they probably won't be able to do that because they're not going to allow that because they got to at least have two hours or three hours. I said, well, put an extra four hours on top of the 28 hours. And them four hours can be for the, for the person to come in and wash them up and clean them up. I mean... He's, even if he don't stay the four hours, he's still going to get to pay for the four hours. Because my concern is that he get washed up. So if they can have a male come in and wash him down and clean him up. What do you mean? It's not medically. It's not me medically necessary. Okay, so when he falls in the tub, then then it becomes medical necessary. When he said he done fell, and I done told them he fell due to the fact of him trying to get in the tub. Y'all not going to give me a a, a, a a tub that that 
the door open up. Girl, not going to have a tub that have a seat in it all the way up to the top. That would be nice. And they probably do. You can get that done. If I had the money to custom made a tub, that's what I would do. I would get it. I would have them come in, measure. And the tub would be no steps. He just open up the door, like have a door so he can open it up. He walk in and it has like a seat in the tub where he can sit down. And then he can turn the water up. Right, the level. So that means that the tub has to be a little like up here to him. That high, right? And he walks in and the seat is there. And he sits down and the water comes in and fills up to the top. He he has some kind of button over here that he presses. And that will close down the thing, right? Stop up the tub. And he has another button that deals hot and cold that he presses for hot and cold. And that controls the water coming out. And it comes up and goes to his body level. And he washes himself. Because it's hard for him to wash himself in the shower because he can't stand long. This is my imagination. Anybody out there hear this? Have any way that this can be done to help us? I would appreciate it. But if not... They say I can have a plan appeal. I can appeal it. I have to think about that for a second. I got 60 days, so that's three. That's two months. This is his again. Let's see what this is. This is probably for May. Sent the envelope. Oh, what is this? Goes there. Goes there. Close the list of all the days you've by personal assistant a month of January through March 2020. Yeah, because we just sent back home. Please sign this page and change some stuff and close them off. Okay. So who's supposed to sign it? Really? Let me see if I got some pens. I like to do stuff while I'm in remembrance. I think I put a pen in my Bible case. Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say. Put you there for now. Oh, I gotta take it for him to sign. Okay, so we gotta put that over there. Get the pen, let him sign that. We got another one here. Let's see what this is. This is another one of Emblem. That was June. I think every time they ask for money, they gotta send it to me. This one was 2.45. This is June 22nd and June 23rd. After you pay your deductible. Okay, so maybe they had this page in the other one, but I didn't see it. Service dates is June. They don't tell you what they for. I wish they would put on there what it's for. So I, I'm thinking it's medicine because I didn't see her. I didn't see her. Maybe I did see her back in the gym. I don't remember seeing her. Because I went to sign up for her. When they called me and told me it's time to come in, they told me that um, she wasn't available. Was 
what's this? I got a refund. We change the increase in credit. It was in July 26. Know this date. If you haven't already received a refund, you should receive a refund check within two to three weeks. This refund is changes to your 2020 Form 1040. Is that taxes? That must be taxes. We changed your 2020 form because recent tax laws, rulings, or regulations required us to correct your Unemployment compensation in your earned income tax credit. Okay. So a check will be coming in the mail. It says a check. I say within two to three weeks, as long as you don't, oh yeah, because this is dated July 26th, and we ain't even get to July 26th yet. So let me say, as long as you don't owe other tax or debts, we are required to collect. She may not even get it because I think she owes taxes. Not taxes, she owes money. Okay, so that's the mail. Alrighty. Now let's go to this medicine. This is my husband. So all this is my husband medicine. Now I was looking on the front. So the front says acetaminophen. That stuff that's in Tylenol. Lysopolum pearl. That's his, um, that's his, what you call it? What you call it? His pressure medicine. And oxpetuminin. That's for his, to control his wetting on himself. So he got one for fill, one refill, three refills, three refills. So that's what I was like, where the rest of the stuff? And then we go on here. Let's see. Because I was like, what happened to his ibophobium? Ibophobia. Ibophobium. <laughs> I'm always going I gotta look at it. So he got his iron pills. He got his gabapentin pills. He got his sleeping pills. He got his stroke pills. He got his stomach pills, he got his aspirins, and he got his ibuprofen. Yeah, he said so many things. So that's all his medicine. So. So we put that over there. And that is the video of the day. All right, let me go and let him sign this. What's the name? Sign this, um, what you call it? This paper. I gotta, like, I don't know whether y'all can see it. I haven't worn this wig in a while, so it kind of, like, bend it in. I don't know one thing, itch. Kind of, like, bend it in here. So I gotta keep going underneath there, pulling it out. And I guess I need to like glue it down to my scalp or something. All right, so that is my video. Oh, I bought me another bracelet. Rose gold. So. 
the lady was telling me that when when I go to buy a charm to buy some kind of clip on it otherwise when you open it up it, the charm is gonna fall off so that way if you buy the clipper that it keep it from moving so with that being said that is my video 25 minutes and 15 seconds and I believe that's all I need to speak on the mail is open the mail is done the the medicine is done so now I think I am going to try to find me something to eat because it's going on what time five and I have not even eaten nothing all day I went in the store my regular store to get my regular which is a bagel with an egg with butter with butter and jelly but you know there was people and I don't like to overwhelm him I don't like to see like I don't like to seem like I'm jumping anybody so I just got my coffee and went on out the door and I was out. I went all the way to Manhattan. I ain't even getting nothing. I could have stopped and got me a Jaro. All right. So with that being said, I'll talk to you again. God bless you. Bye.